Hi guys, it's Lilith Lenore again, and today we're going to be setting up our new um, VTube avatar that we made in our last episode in Vroid Studios. So I already have it opened up here, but if you need to know how to do that, you can either check out my last video, which I'll put in the description, or you can go ahead and come over here to the left hand side click on the dog face, scroll down to my avatars, pick the avatar that you want to use, and save. And then it will pop up here. But since it's already open, I don't need to do that. The next thing that you want to do when you first upload your VTube model into Animaze is we're going to go ahead your options, which is at the cogwheel on the bottom left, go up to advanced tracking and configuration. And then, so we're going to select the trackers. We're going to make sure it's a default. You can also use your iPhone, um, your Oculus Quest. Don't really need that because I don't have an Oculus Quest connected, but if you had one, you could go ahead and save. And we're going to go back. Audio based lip sync. Complex audio based lip sync. If you can do that, it helps. Um, you can change the noise threshold, so if it's super loud in your house, you can turn it to a little bit higher so it doesn't really pick up every little tiny sound. Um, you can also do simple, which is less mouth shapes. Uh, there's three mouth shapes. The complex is 16 mouth shapes, so it just really depends on how old or new or fast your computer is. Then you go ahead and save once you figure out exactly how you like that. And then we go down to eyes. Now the eyes are pretty good. You can see I'm like blinking and like you can wink and I'm not very good at winking in general, but if you wanted to wink, you could wink. Boop. Um, the first one, you can see that it's within the range. I just keep this at full because it's, it'll be easier for it to track. Um, you can turn on global symmetry. The left and right eye settings are always synchronized. That way you won't really be able to, to wink, but it, they'll close at the same time. See, if they aren't linked up, then this is what it looks like. And like, if you don't, I don't know, you don't need to do that, but you can, if you want, uh, Okay, so all that's pretty good. The eye widening. So this is normal, right? This is wide. But it's not really showing up. So what we want to do is we want to make this a little bit bigger. Maybe move it down. Normal. Wide. Normal wide. You can see how far up that goes, right? Maybe even play around with it until it's the way that you like. You could do move movement smoothing so it's not as like twitchy. <laughs> uh, high intensity smoothing smooths out fast movement. So if you blink a lot or something, you can turn that up and it will blink a little bit less often or less twitchily. Uh, this is for your right eye. Um, I don't think, I mean, if it winks okay, then you're probably fine. Uh, eye squinting. 
So I think my I think the default's okay, but if it's not, you can always play around with this. Um, let's see what happens if I make it a little bit. Okay, I think that this is for the left eye. You can make it smoother if you want, but I think this is okay. All right, this is for the right eye, just to make it the same as the left. You always want to make sure they're symmetry, so it's always the same. Keep going down, eyelid shifting. Triggered when eyelid shift left to follow eye roll. Uh, I don't really mess with that, but you can if you want. Um, keep going down. Okay, I think the eyes are pretty good. So then we can go back and do, the eyebrows are pretty good too, but you can go to eyebrows. So this is the range where your eyebrows lift up. It's hard to see because my hair is in the way. Um, you could do global symmetry, but then you can't like raise one brow. Uh, sorry about that. Brow down. So like when you frown, kind of see how the brows go down. All right, you can mess with that if you want. Uh, I think mine's okay. All right, and then you go back. You can save it each time, or you could, you know, it's up to you. I don't mess with jaw or cheek. You can. Mouth and tongue. That's an important one. So, mouth smiling. So this is how it looks when I smile right now. So this is not smiling. Smiling. All right, so you can... Oh, it's sharing. So this is the left. So we could probably change that a little bit. Uh, do this one the same, just a little bit. All right, mouth frowning. That works pretty good. Mine is a little bit. You just got to kind of see where the purple, you frown, where it ends up, that's where you want it to be in between. So normal, I'm frowning. See how it's in the middle? Kind of the range you want it to be. You want, when you frown, it to be like in the middle or in between these lines. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger for me. All right, and then we want hmm. well, that's fine. All right, now I'm moving up. So triggered when moving mouth up. Um. Like when you pucker your lips, I'm not sure. Lip corner stretching. Lip puckering. Oh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, lip funnel. Contracting, contracting the lips to make an O. Oh, oh. All right, well, that's a bit big, so oh, oh. Oh, oh, huh, ah, uh. oh, oh, I don't know, it doesn't move for me, so I don't know, maybe don't mess with that or mess with it if you want, upper lip movement, hmm, Well, lower lip movement, maybe just make that bigger. All right, uh, 
hello, I am talking to you. All right. Uh, all right, so this one you want to definitely make, I want to make bigger because the purple went outside of the boundary. So maybe do that. Um, lip biting. So I'm going to make it longer. This character doesn't show good lip biting. So it's hard to say. Right? Hmm. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Tongue out doesn't really work on this. But if you have a character or avatar that can do their tongue out, you could mess around with that. Oh, yeah, there's no tongue for this one. Tongue side to side. Again, no tongue. Go ahead and save. Go back. Go to nose. I don't think I really have to worry about nose with these v characters. Head. So this is like, you know, going side to side, up, down, looking at all around see how it moves so the range intensity for head pitch movement seems to be good the purple is always somewhere in the middle i can move it just a tad this way and that way it's for sure always this is up and down so this is the pitch so it's always in that box in that range Head yaw. So, I believe yaw is side to side. Roll movement is when you do this. I'm going to make it just a little bigger because it went out of bounds a bit. Alright, so that's that. We go back. Body. Global symmetry. Go ahead and turn on global. This is sort of like, you know how you sway. You can sometimes twist. This particular model doesn't sway or twist very well. But um, pitch would be up and down. So it kind of leans back, kind of moves forward, as you can see. Rolling. You know, it's like when you do roll. Seems like they're all in the right place. Body up and down. So you can see that the up, so when you stand up or sit down, so this is, it needs to be a little bit different here. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, so let me go back. And that's pretty much it. Now, this character, you can also mess around with these settings in Vroid Studio. So let's go ahead and do that. So I saved my character. I'm going to just go ahead and minimize, go back to Vroid Studio. And then we're going to go and our character is here. All right. So, all right, you go over to face and then you go down on the right to expression editor. You click on that, it'll bring up this, this here. So neutral is just looking straight ahead. Um, if you don't like the way that that looks, you can always on the right side, do the drop down and change, like, do you want it to, the eyebrows to be, this is the eyebrows. So, you can make it like frowning if you you know you want your character to always look sad in a neutral face. You can make it like angry all the time. You can make it like happy, surprised, smiling, whatever you want it to do. Um, go down to the eyes. This is neutral with nothing changed. Smiling. I like to be smiling a little bit, just all the time. You can also do a little bit of happy. Uh, go down to, it's basically the same eyes. So you can make them a little more closed or a little more open 
or just one more closed if you want it to look interesting. And the left one, you know, is wide open. You could also move the eyeballs more to the back. Um, you can hide the irises. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. So here's cat eyes. You can make the, the, the uh, pupils look like cat eyes. Um, mouth. So the mouth is interesting. Um, so this is what it looks like completely, you know, neutral. This is you not moving your face. So you can uh, go down, down. Okay, smiling, happy, and you can change these a little bit. So if you want it to be slightly open, this is like a straight line. So if you want, you know, it to be open more like out towards the sides. So ooh, face. Um, e, the kind of sound you'd make when you make an E, or the kind of shape you'd make if you say E. O. Oh. Oh, so it opens the mouth more like wide. Um, same thing here. Do the same stuff. I don't know why there's extras, but there are. Uh, let's see. Inside the mouth. You can add vampire teeth if you want. A skin though. You don't want to do skin. There is a way to do vampire teeth. Teeth. Go down to teeth. So if scroll down, vampire teeth, you can add them, or shark teeth, which would basically, see, give you like shark teeth, and you can do all, all that stuff. You can mess up all your expressions for each face that you make on the left. Well... And then you can go ahead and go over here, save as, and go to your desktop, find the model that you were, oh, no, okay, so you can't save as, you have to go back over here. When you're done, you come over here to the export, export as VRM, wait for it to, to do its thing. It brings you back to this page, just go ahead and hit export, do the information again export and then save it to where you want you want to save it there i already have it so i'm going to re you know overwrite it it's processing okay go ahead and close that open up your vroid studio again go to the left where the avatars are hit load scroll down to your vrm model hit open And there it is, with the shark teeth and the weird eye. I hope that helped. Um, if it did, like and subscribe and comment below if there's anything else you'd like to see. All right, thanks so much. Bye.